Earlier this year, the Ministry of Education launched a program with eight universities to allow up to 281 Ukrainian students to flee the war in their country and study in Taiwan. On Friday, Premier Su Zhen Chang sat down with some of those students, chatting to them about how they were adjusting to life in Taiwan. Premier Su Zhen Chang and Education Minister Pan Wen Zhong are on stage together, meeting Ukrainian students in Taiwan. Since the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine more than five months ago, Taiwan has donated more than 45 million US dollars and more than 600 tons of aid to Ukrainians in need. The Ministry of Education worked with several universities to waive tuition and miscellaneous fees for more than 281 students. The aim was to help Ukrainian refugees flee the war and become students in Taiwan. Oh, in Taiwan. Next to Taiwan, we have a huge and barbaric country that is always talking about using force against our families. So the situation in Ukraine made us think that we should help each other and care for each other. Su criticized China's constant warmongering, saying that Taiwan and Ukraine were in similar situations with aggressive neighbors. A Ukrainian student at the event who lived through the attacks in Ukraine said she hoped the war would end soon. Uh, because us Ukrainians already know that war only brings pain and death. All of us Ukrainians do not want to see war break out in the world. And that is why we hope the war will end as soon as possible. We believe that we can protect our land, our country and our rightful independence. I wanted to take this opportunity to hear whether any of you had found any difficulties in your studies in Taiwan. If there is anything we should improve, you're more than welcome to bring it up. Just now we heard from Anna, who speaks Mandarin so well. I think you'll have no problem graduating. Su also made sure that the Ukrainian students had a good stay in Taiwan, suggesting that they go to his hometown in Pingdong to enjoy the beauty of southern Taiwan. These blossoming ties between Ukraine and Taiwan show that a friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs>